Senate don't they touch light the illegal transfer of 14.3 billion naira by Nebza. Court don't order say make them seize 23 properties with a link to Abdul Rashid Mena. Inside FCT, plenty of people with a vex don't kaput can set one suspected thief on fire. For Northern Bruno, Nigerian Air Force don't neutralize ESWAP fighters. My people, glad to know so you did there on top as it take happen. My name na Na Douglas. And for the first story we are bring come for now, Senate don't open one touch lighting on top waiting the suspect to be Wuruwuru transfer of money to the tune of 14.3 billion naira from the Nigerian Export Processing Zone Authority, NEBSA, to one private organization, Nigerian Special Economic Zones Company, NSEZC. Chiamo, Senate Committee on Top Trade and Investment, Rose Oko, now she talked this one on Tuesday for the 2019 budget defense of the agencies inside the Ministry of Trade and Investment. Senator Oko insists say her committee go touch light how they take move that can big amount of money from government agency without due process. She also talks say the agencies will get work where they overlap, they must check them to reduce waste. The committee is aware of the existing legislative query on the Ministry and the Nigerian Export Processing Zone Authority, Zones Authority, over the 14 billion 376 million 27,584 naira 65 cobol that was illegally transferred from the 2017 appropriation budget of NEPSA to Nigerian Special Economic Zones Company. This is a breach of the 2017 Appropriation Act. This committee intends to see the, to the end of the query and inquiry as to find a logical so as to find a logical conclusion and seek an explanation how that sum got moved from government coffers ostensibly to a private company without due process and without provision of goods and services. We have further learned that more appropriation has been made to that company and uh, again we would seek to find out the relationship of this company to your ministry and to NEBSA to warrant it being appropriated uh, funds directly from the nation's uh, coffers. We, we would, uh, if you respond to the query, we may listen to your query, we may look at your query, but if we do not get a response quickly enough, then we'll raise the matter up again on the floor of the Senate and make sure that a full inquiry and a public hearing is conducted so that we can see, uh, come to a logical conclusion as to what exactly happened. As part of effort to cross-check report one of the sweet belay about the National Assembly, they don't set up one special committee who will casually manage the different channels of communication as, in, as it concerns federal lawmakers. When it a young for one meeting on Tuesday, Clerk of National Assembly, Mohamed Sani Omolori, talks to the special committee where they set up so, don't they to reduce the lie -li report of activities of National Assembly. He talks to the new platform go offer the National Assembly proper channel to talk with one mouth. The clerk can't talk say, some media organizations don't take advantage uh, sake of the poor management of informate to project the institution for bad light. Chamo, Senate Committee on Top Media and Publicity. Adedayo Adeneye welcome this new arrangement, but talk say the move no be to shut up the mouth of the media that is waiting Oyibo they call. It is not an at attempt to gag the media. And from that one, we move to uh, the Niger State. Niger State caucus inside the National Assembly don't call for the declaration of state of emergency for three major federal routes inside the state. As in Toxie, these federal routes don't totally collapse and arm robbers don't they use the road they shine for innocent people head. When then they address journalists on Tuesday inside Abuja, the 13 member caucus come they beg they make federal government sharply repair these routes we connect northwest, northeast and north central and some parts of southeast. Deputy Whip for Senate, Ali Sabi, weigh in on behalf of the Niger, Niger lawmakers, talks say, then don't engage with the leadership of the National Assembly on top of the matter, where they seek better allocation for the roads inside the 2020 budget. 
if you look at the volume of road network we have, there are about 32 or 33 roads coming from one location to the other. But I have chosen to mention these very critical <coughs> ones that people who are applying from either the south, uh, uh, northwest, northeast, going down to the south, the roads they normally pass southwest. to the southwest and some parts of even the you know, south uh, east. So the point I'm trying to make here is as much as efforts are being made to stabilize the road, the state government has made efforts to stabilize the road, but no sooner than a particular segment is stabilized will another segment also give in. This is our cry, and we are convinced beyond reasonable doubt that beyond what is happening under the budgetary atmosphere, we are calling on Mr. President to please do the needful for our people by giving a special intervention funding so that these three roads we have mentioned can be fixed. He talks a Beleno sweet time at all, sake of the failure of Federal Road Safety Corps to check cases of overloading of trucks for major roads, and then they blame overloading, saying, I make uh, these roads they spoil after they don't repair them. And for the next story, we be, uh, we, they, they uh, call uh, out of school children. One report will be say now the United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, published, talks say they rank Nigeria as country with the highest number of children will drop out from school because according by the report, now 13.2 million children of school age now then know they go to school again. For this reason, people wait there for Bukuru matter. That is what you know, they call stakeholder. Talk say the situation they call for serious concern, especially because 45% of the total number of out of school children inside West Africa now Nigerians. The question be say, how the society they play their part to make sure say, out of school children return back to the classroom. For this report, we be say I meet one on one with one Nigerian security officer. We get passion to send these children back to school, but it, it, it can't be say he get small money. The report. Any other Nigerian, Sergeant John Sule, na Nigerian man, we get hurt for children when they go to school. The attachment for 45 Squadron Force Headquarters, now be say, now policeman him be. He talk say, it depend on where we to see children were supposed to day for school, but they no day for school, then they, they do other things like they sell things for people. Although, aside in official duty as a mobile police officer, it they also intervene to help children back to school through what in Oibo they call advocacy with a small money. Recently, he come across three teenage girls, that is, three small girls for one community, what they call Angwanrogo area of Abuja Municipal Area Council, where he believes say na products of trafficking, that is, people bring them come there to come sell things. And after he asks them some questions, the police officer can decide say he go send them back to school using his own salary. Even though he tell Wazobia Max TV say he never pay the school fees of his children, but those children will never see school. He won't send them back to school. So then that kind of information, they quickly give their numbers to these children, so they can't give me. So by then I was I no get money for hand. I was waiting to make a correct salary. So when I come correct salary, now I come call the uh, the guardians. Tell them, say, introduce myself. I say, I want to see them. In, in respect of these uh, children, that uh, want them, let them go to school. So I can't break them, say, this money, what I want to give them. I say, Sergeant, my money no big. I said, they give them this money, I don't pay my children's school fees. You know, I said, they talk to you now. I never pay my children's school fees. We also speak to the beneficiaries, that is, people who benefit from this John's kind intervention. Precious Francis, 16 years, Blessing Oha, 11 years, and Tekoso Otto, 16. All of them come from Beno State. As a day here now with my auntie, my auntie no go agree, say my go school. You know say that day, but this uncle can't give money, say my we start school. But he no agree to collect the money. Some people collect, but he no agree to collect. So I don't know, they go tell and say, my start school, he no go agree. 
that one no. I they go to the work. Then this one who can't toss, we can't see us. We did three. This one who can't see us, tossing. He just says she go, he go pull us for school. We will no no say it's true. It's God help us. He will pull us for school. Three are for school. John Sule give my uncle ten thousand naira. Same man put me inside school. My uncle tell me same go. First thing if you can't give person is so for me. My mom they ain't go calling me go school. Now what thing tell me be that? As Esper Zonko Kuma Tokam say, the level of development for any country based on the quality of education where the citizens acquire. For Wazobia Max TV, Abuja, my name, Na Nna Douglas. Abuja, just like any other capital city for the world, gets population of people where they for both the formal and informal sector. That is, people where they work for places where they organize well, well, like government work, or people where they work or when not to, to the pay tax, that is the informal sector. But the thing we say, it gets relationship between the two sectors, we be say, na economic interest motivate them. Over the years, people will find themselves for informal sector, like people where they do handwork, mechanic, drivers, businessmen and women, especially those ones where they sell goods for road size. Then don't hear me for the hand of tax force operators. For this report, as important as their work be to the economic development of the city, they see they face big, big challenges in terms of workspace for the city of Abuja and so many other cities to help them carry out their businesses without any form of disturbance. Correspondent John Emmanuel get more gist on top of this one. Most of the people waiting for this informal sector are people where they do handwork like mechanics, carpenters, traders, vendors and plenty of other services where they render for inside the city of Abuja. And even though they, they're very, very important to the economy, government see no send them for what they, they do. This one not upon say, most of the people with the for government, they still they depend on these people to survive and to get some of their services from them. For example now, if big man car spoiled, nobody the same common mechanic with the for roadside and go carry the car go for repairs. Yeah, it's not a country that it can help uh, poor people because somebody like us, uncountable boys, are, they are living, this, uh, they are laying this job and they know how to do it. Their parents do, does not have money to make them start the business well. So something like that, I think it's government supposed to, to have it and be here for news sometime that uh, whatever any type of motor comes to Nigeria, federal government gets here that they are giving them to give roadside mechanic to help them for their choice and all that thing. Upon that, those one nobody know what is going on. These handwork people for inside Abuja come open mouth so say it. Don't say with them, don't they beg government, make government provide them with place, land, or bong get place where we say they feel day with rest of mind they do their business. We need government to just help us for the permanent places so we go to work. And those that's for when they come here yeah, they disturb people. We need to make government help us. I don't know they can't disturb us. Government don't talk on plenty of time, say they no go to provide job for every single person we did for inside Nigeria. Say cause this one now, it is very important made them take people who get hard work very serious so that they go fit help them they develop their skills, they do their work, contribute to the economy and at the same time come reduce crime for we society. This now, John Emmanuel for Wazobia Max TV. For other news, ahead of the 2019 World Polio Day, World Health Organization, WHO, talks say humanity go soon, they left with only one remaining white polio virus. WHO go soon announced the eradication, that is the end of the type 3 virus. According by one talk, talk paper by the WHO, then talks say, since they launched one global initiative for 1988 to promote the virus, infection rate don't reduce by 99% as it don't prevent 18 million cases of paralysis. That is, that disease, when know they make people, they work out well. Although, talk talk person for WHO, Christian Lynn Meyer, announced inside Geneva, Switzerland, talk say, the end of type three polio disease for Nigeria, then feel declare them on Thursday as part of World Polio Day. Ubungi report talk say, they never detect that kind of infection for Nigeria since 2012.
And inside the next story, one federal high court inside Abuja will be saying a justice for Lashade Ogubanjo lead today. Don't order say, make them seize 23 properties with them link to the before before chairmo of pension reform tax team, Abdul Rashid Mena. Justice Ogubanjo give the order when she they rule on top one motion will be say, now Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, bring come before the court. For 30 paragraph affidavit, that is paper where they take swear for court, the EFCC requests for court order to make them publish list of the properties inside national newspaper. This one are to allow people will get better reason why EFCC no go convert the properties to federal government own. Say, make them talk now. Justice Oguba and Jokon fixed November 19 to mention the case. And for another story, we resemble that one. The trial of Aziz Fashola with everybody know as Naira Mali don't fail to start today for the Federal High Court where they sit inside Lagos. The trial, the trial failed to begin because in lawyer or Lalekon Ojo file one application can ask the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, to provide the defendant will be Naramali with a statement of in prosecution witnesses, that is witnesses to EFCC on top of the matter. The EFCC lawyer Rotimi Oyedepo raised we no go agree, raised one objection to the application and he insists say no the proper procedure according by the law, the no full land. The court can't listen to the arguments on top of the application and talk for English language, say it must be borne in mind that the trial in the Federal High Court is a summary trial and therefore the proof of evidence is not required. However, the prosecution should furnish the defendants with the investigative officer's report and the statements of witnesses, if any. Now, so then talking for English language. After the BB grammar, Justice Owibo can later shift the case to tomorrow for more hearing. Barely three days after People lynched three suspected one chance robbers for Duse Al Haji, one town for Buari Area Council of FCT, Abuja. They don't kill another suspected robber today morning, will be Tuesday, near the former daughter of Charity Hospital, few meters from the Kubwa train station. Report talks say the suspect, alongside a partner in crime, tried to snatch one Okada from one from the owner, but their plan failed when their victim raised alarm which attract people with a pass for the area. Now, so they killed the suspected robber. They come later setting their body on fire for the rail track. While the police later show face, come rescue the second suspected thief. Police come later evacuate the dead body of the suspect when they set fire. When they contact them, the deputy police talk talk person, FCT Police Command, Miriam Yesuf, talk say she never get informed about the ugly situation. The Nigerian Air Force, NAF, don't neutralize many Islamic states of West African province ISWAP fighters for Bukhar Meram near Lake Chad for the northern part of Borno State. NAF Director of Public Relations and Information, Air Commodore Ibukunle Daramola, now he revealed this one for one statement on Tuesday inside Abuja. He talks, say, then they do the operation through the Air Task Force of Operation Lafia Dole on Monday. Daramola explains, say, then conduct the operation based on Kajad intelligence report where indicate say they don't resume to use the location to provide logistic support to the terrorists using fishing activities as cover-up. It talks enough where they operate in connection with, uh, in connection with surface forces to sustain their effort to completely destroy the remaining terrorists inside the Northeast. My people want to see the watch as it take happen on top of Zobia Max TV. We they come back with news we consign business. For World of Business, Minister of Aviation had the Sirica talk say they don't make provision for the 2020 budget to actualize a national career, plus including establishment of aviation university. Sirika talked this one today will be Tuesday when he appeared before the House of Representatives Committee on Top Aviation to defend budget we consign the ministry. According by the minister, they don't propose 91 billion naira for the national carrier, while the rehabilitation of the Akanebiam Airport for Enugu State, where President Muhammad Buhari don't be approved, would chop 10 billion naira. Sirika also revealed say work they go on now to improve the hygienic facilities 
for airports across the nation. And for the next story, National Information Technology Development Agency don't tell federal government, say, make them copy the local content development strategies of countries we don't develop to sustain their developmental efforts. The Director General of NETDA, Kashifu Abdullahi, will make the call for one program inside Abuja on Tuesday when they talk on top one topic, digital concepts in a growing economy. Talk say, local content will make efforts and knowledge of Nigerians they relevant. The DG will be sent ahead of legal services for NITDA, Emmanuel Edet, nine representative for the program talks say the adoption and implementation of local content policies, policies for key sectors of the Nigerian economy will address the high unemployment rate for the country. It talks say it will make sense to develop and reform economic models where they exist for the continuous growth of information technology will go in turn translate to economic development. My people, it remains sports news. We they come back. <music> Qatar don't announce on Tuesday a major expansion of the Hamad International Airport will almost double the number of visitors within the expect as a Gulf state they prepare to host the 2022 World Cup. Work for the first phase of the expansion will start next year and they will complete them two years later. And then say they will expand the capacity from 35 million to 53 million passengers yearly. According by the announcement, the second phase will complete after 2022 and will make the airport with the done launch for 2014 to handle up to 60 million passengers per year. The decision to upgrade the only international airport inside the gas-rich Qatar come despite reduction for the number of tourists where they visit the Emirates sake of the two-year boycott when neighboring countries mount. Although they no reveal the cost of the expansion project. Then be placed, when I go few remember, say they've been placed Qatar under land, air, and sea embargo since June 2017 by Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, and Bahrain, as well as Egypt, sake of say they accuse them of supporting radical groups. Doha as a B don't categorically deny the accusation. My people now saw the report to be today, but before we go, make we tell you now what inform our Kajad Tori. <music> Senate done the touchlight, the illegal transfer of 14.3 billion naira by Nebza. Court don't order say make them seize 23 prop properties with a link to Abdul Rashid Mayna. And inside FCT, plenty of people with on the vex now don't kaput come set one suspected thief on fire. And for Northern Bruno, Nigerian efforts don't neutralize ISWAP fighters. My people now so it be on top as it take happen. Thank you, say you the part of the new. My name na Douglas. Una good night.